The field agent squad cannot make it this time. They have a more urgent mission. But the Vienna branch already requested support from the army, even though we haven't told them what is happening. They are irritated by the blatant attack. We better use the power of the era now. Only one question remains. Is the source of this intel reliable, Marcus? Are Isolde and Heinrich really playing in the premiere of Tosca? Yes, it may sound a bit absurd, but that is Miss Kakanya's inference. It is you who asked for cooperation. I've done what I can and told you everything I know. Unless the show is cancelled, Isolde will show up. She is a perfectionist when it comes to her work. If she shows up, so will Heinrich. Neither of them is under bounty, and the upper class loves her performance, so it's not hard for them to guarantee a show, even in these troubled times. I know her well. She will be there. If I know her as well as I think I do. Madam Hoffman, what mission is the field agent squad dealing with? Assassinations. There has been an outbreak in the Empire over the past three days. They are sent to guard the important people. We're out of manpower right now, so don't expect any backup. But don't worry. We don't need to capture or defeat the Manus, just focus on the original ritual. Put your own safety first. Understand, Marcus? Huh. The audience is bigger than the tickets sold. I counted the seats in the balcony and the gallery. There are still too many people in the main hall. Are they all staff of the Vienna branch? No. This could be the doing of Manus Vindicte. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's you, Miss Foundation. You have no idea where you are. This is Vienna. The city of music! And this is Isolde and Tosca. People are crazy about them. I bet they would even stand outside the railings if standing tickets were sold. <laughs> and when it reaches Axley, they would fling themselves over the edge, crying, Oh, Scapia, avanti addio! I don't get what you're saying, but it sounds even worse than Manus Vindicte. I... I collected information about this opera. Rome, 1800s. Painter Mario Cavaradossi and singer Tosca are two lovers. Cavaradossi has been arrested for helping the fugitive Cesare Angelotti, former consul to the Roman Republic. To save her lover, Tosca turns to Scarpia, the chief of police. Scarpia has covered Tosca for a long time, so he proposes that Cavaradossi will be freed if Tosca gives herself to him. Tosca submits to him, but when he tries to embrace her, Tosca saps him in the heart with a dagger. Oh, for heaven's sake, how did you make that sound so boring? I don't think you should read the script ahead of time. It takes away all the surprises. Just let the singer guide you and immerse yourself in this world. 
Isolde is very good in guiding the audience. She's the best there is. As a seancer, her incredible arcane skills allow her to act like the characters themselves on stage. She can do all kinds of voices, even those that seem physically impossible. When she does this, she becomes a completely different person, taking us to a world beyond reality. It'll feel like witnessing a miracle firsthand. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, I got a little excited. So, this is how much I looked forward to this opera. I'm sorry. I know you still see her as a friend. No. I'm just thinking. I thought I knew my friends and my kin. But really, I had no idea of what they were truly thinking. Even with this mirror and all the psychological theories. I am like Pandora who opens a box without knowing what was inside. Was it hope? Or destruction. That sounds... dark. But I also think... Perhaps we can never truly understand one another. But things won't get any better if I give up because of it. I cannot turn my back on this. Don't worry about me, Miss Marcus. Now that I am here, I will fulfill my promise. I will stop her. As for the doomsday you talked about, I don't know what I can do about it, to be honest. All I know is, if I don't stop her today, every day of my life will feel like doomsday. No matter what happens from here, the show has begun. Please, enjoy. Even if the world ends tomorrow, we still have a show to enjoy. <laughs>